Scientist, Dr. Yunam Kiran Maitai. I'm a district immunization officer and a district nodal officer for national program on the climate change and the human health representing the state of Manipur. I'm coming here to attend the program on the Energy for Health Summit, Northeastern Region, Chapter 2024. Uh, it was a great opportunity to come here and attend this program. Actually, uh, Selco Foundation, uh, we have the opportunity to work uh, with this uh, foundation uh, for the past so many years in the state of Manipur. And I myself belonging to uh, a hilly district in the state of Manipur. Uh, we have altogether 22 facilities in the state, uh, in the district itself, and the, out of which five facilities are being fortunate enough to have the uh, solar panel installation. And the, when it comes to the uh, hilly district, as we all know that the, uh, because of the difficult terrain and the weather situation, because there, uh, there has been a various incident of the frequent uh, power cut, and there have been many incidents, certain like uh, the power will not come for uh, one week or something. So with the coming of the Selco Foundation, uh, we are able to provide the uninterrupted 24 by 7 patient care in the healthcare facilities. Over and above that, they have provided us uh, so many medical equipments like uh, sport lights, then the radiant warmers, and uh, very other uh, medical equipments. So I'm looking forward in the next uh, session, the, which is going to happen tomorrow, uh, for many other certain innovations, technological new innovations through which uh, the service in the health sectors can be improved further. So, and today I have the opportunity to visit few stalls where I have witnessed uh, one instrument. Uh, it's a vaccine carrier, which is called a day uh, care vaccine carrier, uh, which is solar operated. They are provided with a solar plate. So if that is being uh, made possible to be used at the uh, facilities in the hilly area, it will be a big boon. Over and above that, and I also have the opportunity to visit one of the stores where uh, the, uh, the fetal monitoring can also be done uh, through an electronic process. So with that one, uh, we can monitor the uh, fetal heart rate, we can assess the high risk pregnancy so that the outcome of the pregnancy can be assessed uh, well before and the, uh, the uh, high risk pregnancy can be avoided. At the same time, the maternal death and infant death can be avoided. So I'm looking forward uh, to this uh, workshop and it's a very helpful workshop. Thank you. Thank you.